Alright, what's up my single chats? How we all do it? Today we got another drama! Suckers are attacking the queen of the sims. You might have heard about Pokemon. <gasps> Yay! The, we have a new volcano eruption, guys. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Fasten your seatbelts because the ride today is gonna be bumpy. And guess what? We also have the Call of Duty Cheater! One of the biggest, Nadia, entering the chat as well. She coming for the rescue. She's like the beacon of hope. She's a beacon of light for for uh, all the strong independent women out there. Guys, let's get into it, right? Because I know some suckers are like, bro, what happened? Did she uh, sell a nuclear bomb? Did she question Top G and Utid? Did she toss a cat out like Alinity? Guys, she was caught selling cookies. But not just any cookies, uh, she was like, okay, you know, allegedly uh, went to Costco, stole another brand, called it her own brand, added some vitamin D, right, and selling it for $28. Four bags, $28, uh, it's hella expensive. Suckers and Reddit Detectives has done the math, you know, same amount of bags, same amount of cookies that she's selling for 28 bucks. You can buy for nine dollars guys nine dollars so let's actually check out this volcano eruption like the video and roll it so pokemon is someone who i've rarely talked pokemon about on this main. channel i think the last time we covered anything to do with her was the situation she had with my boy Gideon. but now she has stepped back into the drama fire and it's all because of a bag of cookies so the drama really all started when she made this her crime she was caught selling cookies ladies and gentlemen <laughs> cookies <laughs> I mean, listen, it's not about the cookies, man. Anyone can buy cookies and sell cookies, bro. Bruh. It is not about the cookies. It's like, bro, imagine telling to your ancestors that, yeah, there will come a time when we will go on a war because somebody was selling cookies. Bruh. Bruh, like, honestly, bro, I, 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 I don't want to live no more, bruh. <laughs> this announcement on Twitter where she says, it's finally here. Introducing my new company, Mina Snacks. I can yeah. never find Don't the perfect this. healthy snack that tasted good. Uh, how about those little pretzels with peanut butter inside of them? They're very good. The Midnight Mini Cookies are made with real, non-GMO ingredients, plus oh, wow. added vitamin D. Yeah. And I love when snacks come out and, like, their main vitamin point D. of advertisement is a very minuscule amount of something that's actually good for you, like vitamin D or pro- I swear to God, man, it probably got way too much sugar. It probably got a way too many other unhealthy ingredients, but they're like, okay, well, you got vitamin D, which is healthy for you. I mean, bro, you got sugar that's not healthy for you, first of all. Protein. Like, yes, I know the pizza has 500 carbs. I know it has 30 grams of fat, but hey, you're getting those 11 grams of protein. There's a protein pizza. Bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. And so we go to the website and it's pretty standard stuff. Obviously, she's going to be the face of this product. Our story begins with Pokey and Darcy, lovers of snacks, devotees of quality food. This shared passion was met with an equally shared frustration that the snacks they loved the most often made them feel the worst. Oh yeah, so yeah. Yeah. if you're feeling like you're hungry, <laughs> go eat a bag of cookies. That's what we want. So they set out on a journey to create the most craveable, poppable, feel-good snacks of all times. Aren't they just like soft Oreos? Real ingredients, sustainably sourced, Bro, vitamin is... D, no gluten, no GMOs, nothing artificial. Better snacks make us happy, so we made them to share with you. And when it comes to the actual purchasing options of these there cookies... We there we go, boys. Bumbo cut! Yo, run that back, run that back, run that back. We made them to share with you. And when it... It got 8 grams of sugar, bruh. 8 grams. 16 grams of net net carbs as well. Oh my god. 14 grams uh sugars in leading cookie. Okay, well it's a reduction. Oh wow. It is a reduction. But eight grams is still eight grams of sugar, bruh. Okay, we gotta clap up for that. You know, six grams reduction. So if there's gonna be a you know what? I'm gonna make a brain dead argument right now. If there's like a six gram <laughs> six grams of reduction. Can a brother get your cookies for six dollars less? For maybe uh, one dollar? I know one bag is for seven dollars, right? Can I get them for seven dollars? Because you know, fourteen minus eight equals min six. So seven minus six equals one. Guys, I'm a genius. I'm a, I'm, I'm a genius. I, I, I'm a genius. Guys. Like the, like the video. Subscribe right now if you agree, guys. One dollar, one dollar, or we ain't buying, bro. It comes to the actual purchasing options of these cookies. You can buy a four pack for twenty-eight bucks, an eight pack for fifty-six. 
and a 12 pack of them for $84. Oh, what doesn't bro. make sense Kill to me, me now, when bro. it comes to this pricing is you would think the more packs you're buying, the more the price per bag would go down, but it just stays the same yeah. at $7 per bag. <laughs> and it really gives you no incentive to purchase. Give us a discount and do a thing where it's like, you know, buy two, you get one for free. That's simple mathematics, right? Like, obviously, yeah, 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 according to you, your fan base do not know maths, right? According to you, your fan base is dumb, you know, the brokies. I mean, you literally call your entire fan base brokies. Um, I, I listen, man, bread, this is crazy. And to add more salt on the wound, to open a new can of worms, guys. We had XUC and Paul, uh, Nadia. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, shit. the 9 KD player, uh, you know, Call of Duty cheater. Seconds know her for cheating, for her cheating skills. And we recently had, like, a drama with XUC, right? Y'all seconds probably forgot about it. You remember when there was a drama with XUC? We talked about it. Everybody talked about it. It was to do with the reaction videos, right? Because he reacts to videos without reacting. He doesn't even move any muscle. He doesn't even talk. Even I react to videos, but we do discussion here and I was like, I mean, doesn't make me better or anything like that. Not claiming that, but my guy do silent reacts, complete silent reacts. So, you know, seconds were mad with XUC on that one. And right now, everybody's like, hey man, XUC, you making sense, bro. You, uh, 2024, XUC for 2024. Seconds came in full circle, guys. Seconds be loving XUC take right now on Nadia because my guy be hopping on uh, Nadia's shoulder to get the W right now. I, I mean, check this out, really. It's response, okay? So is it you guys? I have people like uh, Neon. Uh, th this is uh, Nadia saying, by the way. Jack Sneeko average thousands of viewers and do nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public. But when girl sells cookies, that's when y'all want to speak out. The image towards what men on it is unhinged. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, bro, come on, XUC. Like, come on, bro, just, just slow it down a little bit, Papa. You guys have more, you guys have people like Neon Jack Sneeko who average thousands of viewers and do nothing but spread negativity. Point to be noted. Toxic masculinity, she's trying to say. Point to be noted. This is important, guys. This is going to open up your third eye. This is what we needed to know. Uh, now, nah, listen, man. Suckers have criticized Sneeko to that. There's, I always see a Neon video. I'm, I never heard of Jack. Uh... No disrespect, I just never, just like, he probably never heard of me, I'm just gonna, you, you know what I'm saying, like, just gonna put it like that. But, Neon, I don't know much about the guy, but I'm always seeing videos about it, about him, okay? Suckers are criticizing him a million times, it's not that she is selling the cookies, bro, it's not about those harmless cookies or the healthy vitamin D cookies. It's not about that. There have been chicks that are selling farts in a jar, bro. <laughs> there are uh, queens that are taking their clothes off. I mean, Nadia, listen, ex Call of Duty cheater, taking clothes off on uh, OnlyFans. If you can do whatever you want, it's not that. But if you're gonna cheat in Call of Duty, Sega's like gonna criticize. And same goes with Pokemon. If you're gonna rip off another person's or another company's brand, make it your own. Sell it uh, with v added vitamin, uh, vitamin D, Bruh. which is like the bare minimum, and overprice that garbage. Sick is gonna talk about it. It's not toxic masculinity. Come on, man. It's more product. Come on, bruh. Other than that, I see that one of the main purchasing points when it comes to this cookie, and really a lot of their marketing revolves around being, you know, half as unhealthy as other cookies out there on the market. And when we go to break down the actual nutrition, it's not looking great to me. I mean, yeah. I know this is supposed to be like- They got like cholesterol, I heard, right? <laughs> but zero milligrams, I, I have to, allegedly. I, I, I saw that zero milligram. A sweet treat, but they're almost advertising it as if it's something yeah. like- Cholesterol zero, but it got sodium. It got saturated trans fats. Bread, total sugars, dietary fiber. Protein! Oh, okay, protein is kind of good for you, actually. Two grams? Oh my god, that's a steal right there. Seven dollars. Bruh, just buy a vitamin supplement. Just buy protein. Just buy whey protein instead of this. They got, like, damn, bro, these ingredients are hella bad, bruh. To be considered healthy? Like, for example, the vitamin D they keep using to promote this product, right? If you eat seven cookies, you get in three MCG of vitamin D. As you guys can see right here, the average full grown man or woman needs 15 MCG. Where's my rest of 12 MCG? Did I actually calculate that right? Maybe, uh, maybe 
I don't know maths, right? According to Pokemon, I don't know maths. Where is my 12 MCG at? I need my 12 MCG right now. I need my 12 MCG. Yo, even for 1 to 30, <coughs> it's uh, 15. Damn, for everybody it's 15 though. So you just doing it 3 MCG? For $7? Come on, man. Like, it's like, if I if I get a bag and if I eat all the cookies, right? I have to... I'm gonna constantly think about those 8 grams of sugar, though. Like, I'm gonna be like, okay, I need I need my vitamin D. I need my vitamin D. How many bags? Like, okay, 3 plus 3, 3 times... I think it's 6, right? 6? Uh, or 5? Bumbaka! Yeah, it's like, I would have to buy 5 bags, eat 5 bags, 5 times 8. That's, uh, like, 40, right? Like... I would get 40 grams of sugar! I would get 40! Bruh. For 15 MCG worth of vitamin D, I'm getting 40 grams of sugar in my system. Bruh. And that's per day, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. So, like, dog, like, come on, bro per day. So let's say you want to get all your necessary vitamin D for the day from these cookies. Well, you're gonna have to eat 35 cookies to do so. And by then, you're gonna be taking in 45 grams of fat, and around 70 grams of carbs. But hey, you won't be- And 40 grams of sugar though. Don't forget about that. Sugar is the number one killer. Vitamin D of fishing, you know, you could just went out in the sun, actually touched grass, but go ahead and eat cookies in your room. Either way, it's not a crime to create something that's really not very good for you, but- uh, wrong. wrong. It's a crime. <laughs> no, man, listen, we, if, nobody's attacking Pokemon because she wanna sell cookies though. It's harmless cookies. But like, dog, man, this is, uh, this actually blew up, this, this erupted like a volcano, bro. But acting like it is, I mean, look at Logan Paul with Prime. I would say the real drama started when this post came out. Pokemon is currently being called out for allegedly rebrand- Always this Keemstar, bro. Always this Keemstar, uh, hiding in the bush and be like, Let's get right into the news! Yeah, it's always Keemstar. Why is Keemstar always starting drama? Where is Keemstar? Like, I haven't seen his video in a long time. I think I think he stopped making videos, but he's like causing, he's still causing drama. Before he used to report drama, now he's causing drama though. Granting a cookie company into her own and selling them for three times the price. These were apparently some cookies they were selling up in Costco. And as you guys can see, they even have the exact same name of Midnight Mini Cookies with almost the same type of advertisement. Deep chocolate, velvety white chips, and sea salt. The old one, deep chocolate cookies with decadent white drops. You see it's Bumbacad. different guys, they didn't mention the sea salt. GMO free, gluten free, good source vitamin of vitamin D. D. Yeah, we've kind of uh, debunked that one. Grain free, gluten free, but see, they changed the third one once again, so it's not the same. And when it comes to like the picture on the thing, the two look exactly the same. I mean, do they taste the same? I don't know. And in response to all that drama, she says, there's been some confusion about the product I launched yeah, and I'm here to set the record straight. Oh and she says God. the batch of minor cookies we're currently shipping were made three weeks ago. They're not a drop shipped product. And Reddit detectives, Twitter detectives, I need you on this immediately. Everybody goggles out, magnifying glasses out. Let's examine the goods here. We are our own formula. The cookies they are being compared to were also made by the manufacturer, Creations Foods, which specializes in healthy food. The compared cookies had one test batch sold before they were retired. Months later, we partnered with Creation Food and fell in love with the flavor profile of the Midnight Cookie. So yeah, the other cookie failed and you're like, okay, we're gonna swoop in to kind of save this formula. We then decided to work together to refine and improve the formula, oh, wow. and we're really happy with the final product, while the ingredients list may- But your fans, uh, toxic masculinity, toxic gamers, toxic people, they're not happy with your formula, though. Or maybe they are, I don't know. Maybe it's like it's going by. Maybe- Yeah, what if it turns out to be like- Similar, the they're in What if it turns out to be like the best-selling cookies, though? That would actually be insane, because at the end of the day, though, like, negativity actually sells, though. I, the, the, the amount of publicity this co these cookies got, man... There are a lot of problems that are going in in the world right now that need that coverage though that need that attention. These cookies probably gonna be number one though. Like I I, I wouldn't be shocked if these cookies sell like crazy though. Entirely different in terms of ingredient quality, quantity ratios, sourcing, the size and texture of the cookie, and of course the added vitamin D. Okay, stop yeah. acting like that's such a good <laughs> selling point. Refining formulas is a very common practice in the food industry. Around 70 to 80% of the foods you see in grocery stores are white, white label. label. And even Bruh. in this explanation, I mean, I Bruh. would say what she did here is not that bad. I guess you could say it was like a bit of false advertisement for her to say ah. this has been in the works for two years. But I would say that people were not really upset with her until she came out and said this on her stream. 
are like, oh my god, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven, seven dollars a bag. I know, oh I god. know math is hard when you're an idiot, but. Uh, but, uh, man, the cockiness here is insane, though. Bruh, like, seven dollars? Dog, listen, man. God bless. I'm in a very fortunate position, you know what I'm saying? Uh, very, very humble, very grateful for that. But seven dollars is seven dollars, though. Seven dollars is expensive as hell, bruh. It should, it shouldn't, the, the amount of cookies you're selling realistically shouldn't be more than three or four dollars. Realistically, I know we said like one dollar, that was a joke, though. But, but like, not, shouldn't be more than three, three dollars. Let's settle on three, three point five, let's just do, okay? Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And so she basically took the Andrew Tate route saying, Hey, brokies, if you can't afford this, get off my dick. And so this <laughs> quote right here really sent some people into like an absolute rage. Of course, they started digging up oh some receipts. God. Okay, so this clip comes from a couple years ago oh, no. when this person had this uh, quote about people subscribing to her Twitch stream. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money. Guys, uh, like, listen, man, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Okay, first of all, listen, hear it out. Then you're gonna be like, nah, man, like, I I'm out, I'm out, bruh, nah, nah, bruh, 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 bruh. You're gonna be like this, okay? So stay focused. First of all, hear this out, and then. You, you know, you're gonna get that post nut clarity, okay? You're gonna get that post nut clarity. You have. That's really the thing. Because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. A sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have, you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working. You should be trying to earn money. Uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. Hmm. And so obviously- Hee hee! Hee You see what I'm saying, guys? Listen, man. Damn, bro. Damn, bruh. Looks are not everything, guys. Looks are not everything. You see this quote, is a lot more cringe and i would say in general shaming your audience for not wanting to buy whatever product you're selling or subscription service just makes you look like an out of touch douchebag and i bring this up because in response to that clip back in the day pokemon was oh singing God. a much different tune yo than yo yo in order i'd like to say oh my god if five dollars in an irrelevant damn so yeah she used to be uh calling other people villains but she lived long enough to become the villain though than she is currently where she says if five dollars isn't a relevant amount of money then she shouldn't need the five dollars from your subscription if she True. argues it adds up if multiple people give me five dollars though then she Facts. should realize it works the same way when it comes to spending Facts. not to mention that tons of people watch streams after a hard day of work or while being broke college students or a multitude of other situations where they need to be more frugal Get these shitty takes off my TL and off my streaming platform. So there's- Man, Sega's gotta show this tweet to her right now, bro. Sega's gotta bring that to her attention right now, bro. She lived long enough to become a villain, guys. You know, it happens. I mean, eventually it's gonna happen to me, too. Like, I think it happens to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is- <laughs> This is crazy, bro. Holy- what did she sell? Cookies, guys. Cookies. Uh, the harmless cookies. Imagine telling that to somebody that just doesn't understand this. Imagine trying to make somebody understand what's happening and why people are mad. That... Crazy! We have different problems all together in this era, bruh. She was obviously kind of vouching for more of the everyday person, whereas nowadays she's talking about those broke boys. And so obviously this led to a lot of people calling her a hypocrite. You also had people like this girl, Nadia, stepping yeah. in to try and be the voice yeah. of reason, the beacon <laughs> of light for all women. She says, you guys have people like Neon, Jack, Nico, who average thousands of viewers and do nothing but spread negativity and harass people in public. But when a girl tries to sell cookies, that's when y'all want to speak out. Like, no, it's very well documented that we also speak out against the Neons, the yeah. I mean, like, even XQC, right, like, that reacted to your post that we talked about just, like, minutes ago, even he was criticized. And guess what? He's a man, apparently, allegedly, right? Like, he's a man, too. Maybe he had a Bud Light recently, but he's still a man. You feel what I'm saying? Like, like, damn, bro. 
Like, toxic masculinity. Nah, bruh. Just don't cheat. Stay elite. Don't cheat. Jax, the Sneakos, and pretty much anyone else out there that's just acting like a clown. And she says the immense hatred towards women on the internet is unhinged. Oh my god, when will it stop? <laughs> she then goes on to say this is why there is a threshold on women. Yeah, it's yeah. easier for us to get publicity, True. but to True. reach the top is almost impossible. The impossible. standards upheld on us are so extreme. However, However, men at the top can do and say anything without any repercussions. Keep in mind, this is somebody who takes off their clothes online to make money. Like, Damn. she started as a streamer. It oh. Bruh. That is crazy. I think we're gonna end on this high note, right? Guys, don't let your dogs out. Let me know your thoughts. Click on this video on the screen because this recently just happened. This man, yeah, apparently it's a man, right? Another man was caught. See, we do not just talk about the strong, independent uh, women out there. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Check it out, man. And don't let your dogs out. And don't buy those cookies.